as treasurer, my office invests money on behalf of the state of Illinois. The budget impasse required our office to change our typical asset allocation. And that change meant, meant we missed out on about $7.8 million in investment earnings in the first quarter of this year. Should this impasse continue, it means missing out on about $2.6 million in investment earnings every month, or more than $31 million over the course of the year. And that's $31 million that will have to be found somewhere. $31 million that would have been better off used to open schools, to help with child care for our youth, or assistance for seniors to keep them inside their homes. Now, let me help explain this analysis. State law gives direction to how the Treasurer's Office can invest money. That direction has three priorities. The first investment priority is to have money available to pay the state's bills. The second priority is the preservation of capital while investing. And the third priority is to earn a rate of return on our investments. The budget impasse has required my office to alter our preferred investment strategy. Instead of longer term, higher yielding investment tools, we've had to move money into shorter term, less lucrative investments. We've had to do this to make sure cash is available when needed to pay bills. The shift is a direct result of a lack of a budget and new calls for broad, unspecified fund sweeps. This uncertainty rips money out of the pockets of every resident in the state of Illinois, and it especially hurts our most vulnerable. What we need is a budget. A budget is a spending plan. The plan provides guidance on when money is typically would be needed to be spent. Without this plan, we cannot undertake the appropriate analysis so that we can time our investments to maximize returns while having money available to pay bills. This analysis considers the court orders that have been used to execute approximately 90% of the state budget. However, further court orders for new vendors will add more pressure to shorter term, lower yielding investments, lower yielding investments. Additionally, we also have fund sweeps to consider. Last year, the governor sought and the General Assembly granted approval for $1.3 billion in fund sweeps. There again is new talk of such a maneuver, which adds further pressure on asset allocation. Let me be clear on one point. There will be headlines tomorrow that say the state lost $30 million as a result of budget impasse. Our investments did not lose money. The $30 million number represents the amounts we will miss in earnings if this budget impasse continues. We will miss these earnings because we'll have to continue the investment strategy that prioritizes shorter term, lower yielding investments rather than our preferred longer term, higher yielding investments. These are opportunity costs, and missed opportunity costs hurt real people. 